coach Jeffrey Cariasso. Tip-off is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. The Rangai Ginebra that's back-to-back to, back to open this game. As Rey Suerte issues a bounce pass, Troy Rosario starts off on a good note. Consistent player here because a lot of the guys surrounding him are really complementary players. Stan Hardinger gets the first basket. Water bossing as Ralph Boo will launch from downtown. Won't get it, and there is but Scotty Thompson. Nebra with a offensive rebound and the putback. Rey Suerte, the soft touch he has been. He's gonna get tired soon because uh, he has not played in a long time. Good shape is still different from game shape. <laughs> Nambatak with a nice pass locating Quinto, cutting to the basket. Here in lane Nambatak who can run that pick and roll well as well. Also a good pass from Scotty Thompson as uh, Stan Hardinger. He's become a, a sort of a barometer here for Barangay Nebra. When he plays well, Ginebra is almost unbeatable. Scotty is pushing for Ginebra, handoff, Malonzo, three-point shot, we were just talking about him, and he connects. Ginto facing up, handoff now to Nambata, they use the screen, Ray with the same pass. Full defender, two early assists for Ray Nambata, as Ahan Misi breaks free for the layup. Ahan Misi was producing Scotty Thompson-like numbers. Yeah. He doesn't need to do that anymore. He's at the 40s. <laughs> uh, well, he has six so far to start this ball game as Malonzo. Back. No need to rush as they deliver the ball to Scotty. Quickly inside now. Christian with position inside and he... Perkute sets it up for Suerte. Fakes. Ray with another fake. And he's Ray. able to... Former Gilas Filipinas player. Lasco almost turning the ball over. Malonzo on the turnaround. Tamaraus. No, but he was he was good in yep. that one year with UE. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Christian Alfu. Good battle inside between Chu and Stan Hardinger. Christian outsmart his defense. To stop Stan Hardinger. Justin Chua takes the three, dribbles in closer. The floater is good. Maybe we're being overly dramatic and overestimating the value of, of Scotty Thompson, but shocking. And more often than not, they will be leading the league in, yes. in assist totals. Chapet for, for Barangay Ginebra. Yes. As Suecote launches over the defense of Tenorio, he can see right over the defense for Barangay Ginebra as it falls to one of their better quarters here in this entire conference. They lead by 8, 29-21. R.K. Lagan joins Justin Chua, Gifford Popia, Kwekute, and Tonka. That is a make and one. And it included wanting to see his leadership shine through more than anything. Even with the 15 to 20 minute restriction, Justin is... Oh, another steal here for J.D. As he will go to the other side. Chua there for the cleanup. And Ray Nambatak is not on the floor. It seems the quality of their shots is higher when he is leading the offense. As James Pringle shooting over the defense of Arcade. Picked up by Scotty Thompson. Pringle to Christian. Has space and he will get it to drop. Nambatak wants the Stan Hardinger ball screen. The jumper for Ray is a swish. Our second quarter. We thank you for joining us here on TVA Russia and Filipinas Live as well. Another quality look from the two group. And yeah. then in one game, he'll go like 0 out of yep. 5 yep. or 0 out of 4. Nambatak attacking once again. That was Jamie with three to shoot. Attacks baseline. Had to put up a shot. Misses. Scotty is there. The rebound. Sets up Ahan Misi. Scotty kicks it out to Christian. Stan Hardinger. The runner gets the angle. It's reps. It's chemistry. As Hill delivers the basketball to Justin Chua. In this first half. Great creation. Three-point shot is open. But a miss from Alonso. That is picked up. It. Ahan Misi steps into a three. That is painful for nobody defended against him. Biggest lead of the ball game now at 19. Justin Chua. Boy, with Blackwater bossing who will have to figure out a way to slow down the red hot offense of Barangay Hinebra when we resume action in the second half. Three about the calls and to just dictate the ball game in the second half. Back to you guys. Thank you for that report. Let's see if they could indeed. That has been the problem. The high shooting percentage of Barangay Neba and then the fouls. Effort on the rebounding department for Blackwater. Can they turn it into points? 
That's a good seal screen from Bradley. Ball is poked from behind, recovered by Nambata. Nambata with a jump shot, it's good. Missing link in offense in Ray Suerte, who has been uh, pretty much quiet in the second quarter. Ralph Koo hits a three-point skies for the board. Forward pass, Ralph Koo another three, that's good again. We'll have to trust the, the offense a little bit more. As Ralph Koo is open once again, that is three. Not to shoot. In an, with an open uh, three-pointer, Ralph Koo. Stan Hardinger still going to the right side after attacking. Balance of being effective, knowing when it needs to be him taking over for Blackwater on the floor and getting his teammates involved as well. Your thoughts on that? It's now at 27 points. Uh, Stan Hardinger is having another good quarter here. Yes, Troy. So Stan Hardinger the, takes the it out to LA. A little bit more. Six seconds remaining on the shot now. Oh, I pass. That is three. <laughs> Pick the Jumper from the elbow will be a miss. Justin Chua with the second effort. Point shot is a miss, but they will get the ball back. Tungkab launches quickly. Finally, it falls. LA using the brush screen. Ralph to another three. Why oh. not? Points in the game. As Pekute will launch, counter three-point shot is good. Filipinas live, Carlo Pamentuan and Coach Mark Molina on the call. Miss Bea Escudero is our courtside reporter. Boy, the dam has just been seen from Japet. LA, down low to Christian, finds the angle and connects again. You meant earlier, Carlo, the point guards finding him. Christian Stan Hardinger going to spots where he can be spotted. Checks a lot of energy into the squad. Chua with a fake. That's against three defenders. Pekute saves the day. Of this third quarter, 87 to 61. Barangay Ginebra in complete control of this match. JV with a quick pass to Hill down low. Pekute launches another three and makes a nub. Tap it screen. That pass stolen. And Escoto is ahead. Escoto. Coach Jeff Caviasso has done a great job with this team starting 3-0. Although they lost three straight here. And, and that makes the loss to Rainer. Behind them, Terra Firma also right there. So the middle is still wide open. While a sun spot could still be a bit of a goal for Barangay Ginebra. That's correct, is it? Yeah. That guy, he's having a fantastic conference. And he is our leading best player of the conference candidate for Robert Mollick. And then next. Good pass, coming from J.D. Castro, Tyrus Hill. Pringle now being given the baseline, double team is right there. On Bubere, fix, attack, push shot is good for Sydney. On this Blackwater squad, the, the schedule is, is a bit tough for, for the Blackwater Boston because they have lots of fans showing up at the Nino Aquino Stadium to join us in that double header. And uh, we'll take a special shout out to our uh, friend from the PBA Media Group. Mitch Flores watching right now. As uh, Richard is photo. Yeah, it becomes a confidence issue here yep. for uh, for Blackwater. And that's something that they need to overcome. Okay. And much more now because of the support that he has. I don't know if you can say that CJ Perez is support. And then you have Jericho Cruz, Terrence Romeo. It goes on and on and on. I have to give credit to the Terra Firma G because they, boy, they really... The fourth quarter and almost stole that game. And then you can allow yourself to ask the question, what would have happened if Scotty Thompson was there? Yes. Firma, Coach Timpon was visibly frustrated with how his squad responded to him. Yet you have yep. a, a playoff, a maybe? Playoff. Yeah. Oh, good pass down low as uh, Donald Gumar. A lot of them coming from Scotty, from LA. He was brilliant all game long and a fantastic job.